This summer, mysterious circles appeared again in fields of crops all over the West Country. There's still no universally accepted explanation for these beautiful mysteries, although there have been many contenders, from electrified whirlwinds to intelligences from outer space. As the phenomenon has grown summer after summer, so too has the intensity of the battle between the competing explanations. And at the heart of that battle lies a struggle for the soul of science itself. For most of the year, the Westbury White Horse is the major tourist attraction in this part of Wiltshire. But then, as summer comes, a new tourist attraction springs up, crop circles. These circles, up to 300 feet in diameter, appear mysteriously, often at dead of night. Their remarkable geometric symmetry draws in thousands of visitors. Many are driven to do more than just look. They measure and record every detail of the circles. Throughout the summer months, new circles appear. Their imprint becomes even sharper in a ripe and brittle crop. For some visitors, crop circles are a source of creative inspiration. corn spiral dance was inspired by the crop circles at Silbury Hill in 1989 and the dance itself has a particular form it's a very processional form it also is uh, it has symbols in it of the crop itself of, of corn but it also has a, a section in it which is very unstructured and that lack of structure, which mirrors really some of the energy that is often felt in these crop circles, a very spinning energy, um, very much mirrors the, the situation that we have, this challenge of these crop circles. We don't really understand them know what they're about. So we have the challenge between, if you like, the, the scientific form that we're used to and, the, and the, the metaphysical or the spiritual. Others come into crop circles for psychic communion. And I had a, a very strong ET being coming through there with a silvery suit and three fingers and uh, a, a very um, a rather interesting cummerbund that I see this one has got on as well. Um, and this this band I've had on other on other uh, sort of spiritual energies that have come through because they find the density of the earth, you know, the frequency of the earth is far too much for them to handle. And uh, it appears this cummerbund around the, what we would know as the emotional center, um, kind of balances out there the frequencies of their system. The circle phenomenon is comparatively recent. 10 years ago, crop circles were virtually unknown. A handful of historic references have been unearthed, like this 1678 tract, which attributes a circle in Hertfordshire to the devil. And some people remember seeing circles in the middle years of this century. My family have farmed near Winchester in Hampshire for 30 years, and we've had circles, but never more exotic patterns, occurring in cornfields virtually throughout that period. But the phenomenon only began to take off in 1980, when a photograph in a Wiltshire paper of a circle near Westbury White Horse sparked off circle spotting. The number of circles recorded has grown dramatically every year since then. By 1990, over 2,000 had been spotted all over the world. But they remain overwhelmingly a Wiltshire phenomenon. 
Over 50% of all the circles found since 1980 have been in Wiltshire. The circles have become part of local culture and commerce. They're quite good business for the pub, um, and it was lucky that it happened around this area. We've had loads of people coming down, yeah, so we've got the circle, corn circle cocktail going, <laughs> which is quite good, which makes you see corn circles after you've drunk it. <laughs> Many people as we can on the floor for a corn circle bus. Go! Five, six, seven, eight, and back to... Most of the dancers at the Beckhampton Barn Dance are local farmers. For them, the circles have proved a mixed blessing. It was a Wednesday when they appeared, and that first weekend, there was probably five or six hundred people went down into them. Uh, at that stage, I endeavoured to stop them by putting a sign up saying, please keep out, you're damaging the crop. Uh, that didn't work at all. Uh, I was trying to encourage them to go up on the hill behind to view them from up on the hill but uh, they needed the need was to get in the circle and to feel any uh, vibes that there might have been so rather than discourage them I uh, put a caravan down a little chute which was the only way into the field so that was that was a fortunate point from my point of view of controlling people coming into the field and um, People were very willing to come down, pay to go in and see them, and uh, they were satisfied and I was satisfied. So yes, I mean about five to seven thousand people, I suppose, came through. By last summer, crop circles had become big news far further afield than Wiltshire. Somebody's only gone and trampled down our corn in the top field, that's all. It was flattened, flattened in, in shapes and patterns. What's it mean? It's a sign, if you ask me. Sign of what? The Lord works in mysterious ways. As well as an archer's storyline, they've appeared on album covers. And Circles provided the basis for a surprise bestseller, which sold over 50,000 copies. What consumes people with curiosity about the phenomenon of the circles is what's actually making them. Could be wind conditions and weather. Weather can play some interesting tricks. I, I don't think it's the wind. Because I don't think the wind would make it um, so even. I think if it, if it was aliens, why aren't they speaking to us in English? <laughs> and and what, what worries me about the circles is they're, um, they're too kind of hieroglyphic, they're too, too symbolic, which, you know, which makes me think that, you know, that it's wags. Yeah. Well, it seems to me it's possible that it is a signature of some visitation to our planet. That's a possibility. Well, they're not from the people upstairs. I think somebody, uh, somebody's having a game. We did a project on it, and our class reckon it was hedgehogs that did it. What do you think they're all about? The circles and bloody corn, isn't it? Attempts to resolve this mystery have reignited a smouldering dispute between two fundamentally opposed ways of interpreting the natural world. I think what's interesting about crop circles are they are the latest in a long line of phenomena which characterize battles between science and parascience. And there's a number of examples of these kinds of uh, phenomenon, uh, phrenology, uh, UFOs, um, parapsychology. Now looking back after these controversies are settled, it's often very hard to see what all the fuss was about. And it's often very hard to see what distinguishes the two sides one from another. But at the time of the controversy, the battle really rages and is extremely virulent in form. And that's where we are now with crop circles.